Welcome once again to Conversations with Kittens. Our uh, guest today is Chanel, current Miss Canada. Yeah! Yay! Woo! Also, before we get into the hard-hitting questions here, we'd like to thank littlewhiskers.ca for providing with this, us with this gorgeous cat tree. They would rather be on the tree than on us right now. <laughs> which our good friend Zelda has thoroughly enjoyed. Yes. Now, Chanel. Yes. How do the pageant things work? Because I watch it and it seems <laughs> so confused. I, I'd be afraid. I'd be terrified. I think this one's a little bit terrified yeah. if we have this conversation. <laughs> um, the pageants are totally interesting, especially the Miss Universe experience. Um, I've been Miss Universe Canada for almost a year, and I wow. get to pass off my title uh, at the end of May. Uh, uh, uh. So we have to ask you about your getup, your Canadian getup. Yes, the, the costume. How heavy was that costume? It's about 20 pounds. It was made custom for me. Uh, by a actual a local designer. Her name is Alex Kavanaugh, and she works on uh, film and television doing specific costume design. So I sat down with her a couple months ago, and we charted out some different ideas of what we wanted to do. And hockey is so Canadian. Yes. And we decided that that would be the best route to go when presenting Canada on the international stage. What oh, about 100%. the score, man? My the score. score was the score was a little <laughs> bit off on the scoreboard. Okay. All right, there, that, there's a story to I, this. I because, was hoping there was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's double. 2014, and that is very unrealistic in any hockey game. Yeah. Um, but the idea behind that is because the Miss Universe winner is for 2014. Okay. So that's why it was that All score. Right. Okay. It, very controversial. Mm, yes. <laughs> like we were expecting, like you know, like one of the Summit Series scores or something like that. <laughs> but it was, you know, it had like this Marie Antoinette vibe. Does that it make sense? Not. Was that? Some, did, did you have like any like? feedback or, or any influence in the way that it looked in that regard? <laughs> um, you know what, the whole costume, for that part of the competition, is supposed to be grandiose and over the top and mm -hmm. just downright silly. Some of them are pretty nuts, like oh, yeah. it's, it's pageantry to the utmost. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's that's more of the humor side of it. You want to represent something of your country. Of course. You can't please everybody. No. But well, just go over the top. I, yeah. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. It took it in a different direction with a custom made scoreboard that actually ticked down in real time. That's mm -hmm. something that unfortunately still photographs can't see. Right. Um, Oh, look, I'm getting kisses. <laughs> She's like, you did good on that. <laughs> that was Thanks a good job. one. You did good. You said you are a cat girl, too. Oh, you grew up with cats. cats. I love cats, even though it's it lo doesn't look like it right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm much, I've got a little Himalayan at home. Her name is Truffles. She's Aww. really cute. So when you're backstage at yes. those uh, shows, like, pardon the pun, does it get a bit catty? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was well played. In my kind of humor, I've been sitting man. on that for like three <laughs> minutes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, there's a certain level of uh, d competition and you get all sorts of personalities. So there's definitely a bit of that because you're dealing with so many women who want the same dream yeah. job. So certainly there is that sort of element. Um, I, How I approached the competition was I just kind of focused on myself, like this guy is. Um, <laughs> Do you want to switch for him? Yeah, <laughs> sure, you know what? <laughs> Why not? Tradesies. Tradesies. Watch this one start doing the same thing. Hi, you're um, soft. You know what? How I approached that competition is I was focusing on what I needed to do to represent my country well, make some friendships there, and uh, you know, it panned out the way it panned out. But I had a great experience down in Miami and Doral, and uh, it's one of those things I'm just never going to forget. Chanel, thank you for coming on yes. Conversations with Kittens. But look, you're a calming spirit to her. Oh, well, she was just a little riled up. Oh, there, no, but she'll go again. And thank you again to Little Whiskers for the amazing yes, country. Little yes. Whiskers. And thank you for coming in. Congratulations. Conversations with kittens. <laughs> Use that. That's a sound bite oh right God. there. <laughs> I don't think Molly. I've been I've been looking forward to this interview for a while. Because <laughs> I, I just love kittens. I do.